everyone, so I'm back today and I'm filming a quick Sephora haul slash don't know if it's going to be quick because I bought quite a few things. I didn't buy all of this at once, I bought it over like three different purchases if that makes sense. I use Ship It To and I use assisted purchasing through Ship It To to get Sephora stuff to New Zealand where I live because Sephora doesn't ship here. I'm pretty sure you can use Ship It To if you live in other countries as well. Um, so yeah, now onto this. The first thing I got is this NARS blush, what is this even called? This is like their contouring blush duo and this is in the shade Olympia. It's got a kind of pinky mauve colour and then a pale yellow highlight shade. I also got as many of the Kat Von D Everlasting liquid lipsticks that were in stock. I already own a few shades and I'm trying to collect them all like a Pokemon. So I think there's like still two or three shades that I do not own but hopefully I'll be able to pick them up at some stage and do like a lip swatch video for you guys. The first shade we have here is Backstage Bambi. I'm not going to swatch these because they last so well that they will stain my lips and not come off and all of that kind of thing and that's just not appropriate right now. What you see in the tube is literally what you get. It's the exact same colour as what comes off on your lips. It's super opaque and they last on your lips for a very long time. Oh my gosh, this is like my favorite one so far. I'm so excited. This is a go go, and it's like a bright, bright, bright neon kind of yellow based orange. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. Cloudy day. You guys know how it is at my house. Oh, look, the sun's coming out. And then the last one I picked up today, slash, like whenever I ordered these, like a few weeks ago, um, this is a Bauhaus or a Bauhaus 5, but it's Bauhaus, and it is a dark purple color. So that'll be super fun to play with as well. And can we talk about how cute the packaging is as well? Like the little roses and, ah, oh, so cute. Okay, next I'm definitely cheating because this just arrived from Benefit today in my mailbox, but I thought I'd show you anyway because I'm pretty sure you can buy it off Sephora. I've heard everyone raving about this, so it better be good. This is their Roller Lash Mascara. Looks like that. The packaging's really cute. It's got like a rubber kind of textured handle. Let's have a look at the brush because I'm going to start using this soon, so I don't mind opening it up. It's just like a really thin um, kind of curved brush, which is the kind of brush I typically like because big, big, big ones tend to just get product everywhere. So I hope this is good. I'll definitely use it in a video so we can see the results. Next, I got the Pericone MD. No makeup, skincare, no lipstick, lipstick. I bought this because of Samantha from Battle Lash. She used it in a tutorial. I think it was her Victoria's Secret tutorial, maybe. I hope I'm not wrong. Um, but basically, it is just a really natural kind of lipstick. No lipstick lipstick. SPF 15. How do you... Okay, you twist it. <laughs> so that's what it looks like on my hand. But on her lips, it just came off like such a beautiful pink. So I really wanted to try it. Hopefully, it looks really nice on me. I like the packaging. Like, it's a normal lipstick. Like, you can just shut it normally. But then you can also twist it so that it doesn't come off. I think that's so clever because I cannot even tell you how many times I've chucked lipstick in my handbag and then the lid just pops off. This is like genius. I also picked this up. My mum was like so intrigued. She's like, what's that, Shannon? Show me what's in that. She thought it was like a sunglasses holder. I'm like, those would have to be some pretty thin sunglasses, mum. This is actually an eyeshadow palette and it's in the shade 210 The Siren. I'm pretty sure this one's limited edition, hence the reason I picked it up. I've never tried Marc Jacobs eyeshadows before. So I thought this would be a good opportunity. So it has like three what I would call like bright shades and then four wearable shades. For me, I find these four very wearable. And then you can always like wear these lines with those on the lower lash line or whatever you want to do. I haven't even swatched them yet, so let's do this. I'm going to do three random colours. Okay, they're very pigmented and really beautiful and shimmery and amazing. Ah, I love that middle shade in the blue. I also got two Bobbi Brown blushes, which I kind of regret because they're very similar. I just bought them like going off the website, so that was dumb. This one's Coral Sugar, this one's Pretty in Pink, and they're very similar. Pretty in Pink is just a little bit darker than Coral Sugar, but it's like almost the exact same thing. But I have worn these a couple of times each, and I love them. They're so pigmented. That's what they look like next to each other. This one's Coral Sugar, and this one is Pretty in Pink. So yeah, these are my first Bobbi Brown cheek products and so far so good. So I do think I want to try out some more different colours though, not just like plain pinks like these ones. I also got another Marc Jacobs lipstick. When I saw this one online, I could not pass it up. It's from a nude collection, I believe. Um, and the shade is Have We Met. Oh my gosh, this colour is so pretty. I'll swatch it. That's such a nice colour. It's quite sheer, you have to build it up, but that colour is really beautiful. Smells like candy. I also got a couple of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors. Ooh. And I'm pretty sure I saw Guru Beauty talking about them maybe. 
I don't know, but I wanted to try them anyway because I love Becca's highlighters. So this is like a liquid highlighter that you can either mix with your foundation, wear it before foundation, put it on your cheekbones after foundation. So I've got two shades, Opal and Moonstone, because they are my favorite shades from their Shimmering Skin Perfectors. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just in like a little tube. So that one there is Moonstone and that one there is Opal. So, oh, they're really smooth. Can you see how amazing those are? Oh my gosh, so pretty. Next, I got a new Givenchy powder. This is their, what is it even called? I can never remember. Healthy Glow Powder, there we go. Except this is in one shade darker. It's in shade three. I usually use shade two on my face to bronze up my skin. Oh, it's so pretty. I really wanna get shade one as well. It looks kind of more pinky. I feel like it would look really good on the actual cheeks. I just love these bronzers so much. They're like definitely my current favorite. Just gives you a really nice natural kind of warm glow. It's got a slight sheen to it. So when you apply it to your face, it looks like skin. Like it doesn't look shimmery or matte. It's like right in between without being shimmery. It's not shimmery at all. That's what they look like next to each other. Shade three is just a little bit warmer, so it'll be nice for a really like glowy golden look. Whereas shade two, the one I already had, is just really good for like a natural bronze look. I also got a Becca blush to try because I do love their other skin powders so much. This shade here is it Dam... Dam Selfie? No, Dam Selfie. <laughs> Damselfly. There we go. I don't know what I was reading. This color is so beautiful. I've swatched on my fingers, but I haven't worn it yet. It kind of reminds me of Orgasm by Nars, except a little bit darker and more like, I don't even know. That's what it looks like there. My swatch is not doing it justice. It's the most beautiful kind of like burnt, pinky, peachy color. It would look perfect with a bronzed look. It's so pretty. Oh, jokes. I got one more of the Kat Von D lipsticks. Okay. I got four apparently. This one here is in the shade Outlaw and it's just a really nice kind of bright, slightly darker than average red. I also got a Tarte Colored Clay Tinted Brow Gel and I think I got this because Nikki Tutorials talked about it, possibly. This is in the shade Taupe and it's basically just a brow mascara, but what intrigued me was how tiny the little wand is. Like I feel like this is gonna be amazing. I also got these slash, I was actually sent these, but I'm pretty sure you can buy them on Sephora. I think. These are the new Contour Cream Series palettes by Anastasia Beverly Hills, so I thought I would show you. I'm just going to show you the light shade because otherwise it's going to take too long. I haven't even looked at this myself yet, so I'm so excited. Oh, the packaging is amazing. You can actually see through the top in these palettes rather than them being like this. You can actually see, which is quite cool. And then that's what the shades look like. I think I'm going to do a video trying this out for the first time. And then speaking of contouring, I also picked up the Kat Von D. What does that even say? Shade light palette. Yeah, shade light. <laughs> Apparently I can't read today. That's what it looks like. And I've already tried this color here and it's so pigmented. Like it might even be more pigmented than Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, but I haven't really experimented with it other than that. But I'm sure you guys will see it a lot in my videos. I love contouring, I love highlighting. So these palettes are like my BFFL. I also got a Clinique blush, which I am obsessed with and I wanna buy like a million more shades. This is their Cheek Pop in Peach Pop. I bought this one because of Temptalia and it is amazing. It's got the most amazing like satin finish. So again, it's not completely matte and doesn't look like powdery or chalky, but it's not shimmery. It's just like the most amazing finish. The color is beautiful. Let me put a little bit on so you can see. I hope you can see that pretty glow. It's so beautiful and I want like every shade. And then the last two things I picked up are Ardency in eyeshadows. And I'm so excited to try these. Apparently they are like insanely pigmented. So this first shade I picked up is called Heaven. And oh my goodness, can you see that reflect? It's so shimmery, it almost looks like it's a foil eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can see why people love these. The other shade I picked up is Sunday. I just smacked my elbow on the table and it really hurt. The shade is more of like a bronze. Again, super shimmery and reflective. That's Sunday on the top, so it's just a little bit more warm tone. So that is everything I've been collecting for the past couple of months. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole video and let me know where I should go shopping next. Like new online websites, new brands. I love trying out new brands. It's like my favorite thing ever to do. So if you've got any brands you think I should try, let me know as well. If you enjoyed this haul, please thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And I will talk to you next time. Bye. They dropped this on the kitchen floor and the packaging snapped, but the powder didn't. It. <laughs> it's always that moment of truth. You're like, crap, such a depressing moment. I'm just using this to set my foundation in place. Next 
I'm taking this eyeshadow quad and I'm going to be taking the lightest kind of 